Over the years, there have been multiple huaka'i that I've taken haumana on where I see transformation happen. I think it's because being in these aina-based, immersive type experiences really allows the haumana to connect multiple times on multiple days and it builds their confidence even faster. And so the mo'olelo that I want to share is from a time when I took a group of haumana to Koho'olawe. In choosing the group, I was very selective and thought, hmm, let's, let's take the haumana who maybe aren't as actively involved, aren't always at the forefront. Maybe those ones that need a little gentle nudge to really step into their own as a opio. On the last night of our trip, one of the makua wanted to hold an ava ceremony in the evening time under the stars. The haumana were offered the opportunity to participate. They were able to decide for themselves whether they wanted to join in on the ava ceremony or not. And luckily, all of them decided to do so. So we went outside on the pa, and it was a beautiful night. And as we started the ava ceremony, you know, the makua who was leading explained how the ava ceremony works and how to you know drink the ava and and all the protocols associated with that but he also urged them to reflect on their time there on that huaka'i and that they were there at that very moment for a reason and to reflect on that reason the next day as we were packing up to Ho'i to Maui one of the wahine opio approached me and decided to share with me her experience in the Ava ceremony. Keep in mind, it was dark. It was at night and we couldn't really see each other. It was more so you could see silhouettes. She shared with me, Kumu, last night at the Ava ceremony, when Kumu Layana asked us to reflect on why we were there and how we were able to be there, it really, it really hit me and Nobody could see me, but I was crying. <laughs> I was full on crying, Kumu, in the office ceremony, and I'm thankful it was in the dark. But I just wanted to say thank you for this opportunity because I wouldn't have been able to come here if not for you. It's those immersive experiences, and even just getting, providing them with the opportunity, when I think back to that mo'olalo, that was huge for that particular haumana because maybe she wasn't the hula dancer or maybe she wasn't in Papa Olalo Hawaii Makahiki Elima but in that instance she was given the opportunity to connect with culture with language with protocol